Today I'm going to do a deep dive review on the Lunt 100MT Universal Telescope. This is a telescope that functions as a hydrogen alpha solar scope, a broadband solar scope, and a nighttime scope. Full disclosure, I like and I promote Lunt products, but I bought the telescope and its accessories myself and I am not getting any remuneration from them for this review. Note, you should never look at the sun without a proper solar telescope or solar filter. Doing so could permanently damage your eyes. I should also clear up a common misconception. A hydrogen alpha telescope, like the Lunt, is completely different from adding a hydrogen alpha filter to your normal telescope so you can see more HA data in a galaxy image, for example. Never try to look at the sun with a simple HA eyepiece or camera filter as blindness could be the result. Here is what's included in the package that I bought. The optical tube assembly, two hydrogen alpha etalons, so it can be double stacked, a B1200 blocking filter, a focuser for the night sky, a handle slash sun finder, and a hard case. I added a Daystar flat panel. This is unnecessary for visual use, but it's important for getting the best results when imaging. Lunt doesn't make them, so I bought one from another supplier. A Herschel wedge for white light solar. A, a tilt ring adapter for my B1200 blocking filter. This is, this is only used with high magnification double stack imaging to mitigate the effect of Newton rings. And a sunshade for the camera slash observer. Helps keep you in the shade and also reduces heat noise on your camera when you're imaging. The blocking filter is an essential element to view hydrogen alpha wavelengths. What it does is eliminate harmonic wavelengths from the etalons so you only see the wavelength of 656.28 nanometers. It also eliminates any residual UV IR light. The size of your blocking filter depends upon the telescope aperture. In my case it's a 1200 millimeter blocking filter which is best for visual observing with this aperture. The solar finder is integrated into the handle. The optical tube assembly is solid and well made with excellent fit and finish. I like the red anodized coating on the main etalon chamber and handle. The focuser is very smooth, although on my unit the fine focus isn't as good as the feather touch focuser on my tech refractors. It travels part way before it actually catches and starts to turn the focuser. took some images of the sun, both the full disk and a close-up using a 2.5x Teleview PowerMate, 
so I could show you the differences between the single stack view and the double stack view. As you can see, the double stack view shows more contrast and a more 3D effect. You see more detail on the surface, more detail in the filaments, and more detail in the prominences. But both versions do show all the same things. This is the second LUNT scope I've purchased, and it's worked well for me. In my case, I use it strictly for solar, since I have other larger APO refractors. But in testing it as a night scope, I found it performed very, very well. It's a significant investment, but it's a very high quality, rugged, and versatile instrument. Hopefully this video will help you decide if it's right for you.